This clip covers daily reporting within WellSeek Pro. We have a database structure already in place with operator, field, facility, well, and actual well bore. In order for the daily reporting package to function correctly, there are things that can be input before the job starts. In this case, we can input the activity codes, cost codes, and phase codes. These are essential items uh, in the key performance indicator in the data analytics packages. So effectively inputting these and associating them with the right time frames will allow you to analyze the data and the large pools of data very easily and quickly in future. So it's good to set these up early on. The way of doing that, or the easiest way of doing that, is going to your actual well bore and go to the daily report section. And from here, you can go to tools, phase codes, activity codes, and cost codes. So I'll start with the activity codes. And these are the default um, activity codes that we've pulled in. And this allows you a whole range of activity codes. So you can adjust these. You can unclick them if you don't want them available for selection in the daily activity menu, or you can change them um, as you see fit. Cost codes, again, this is so that you can keep track of your costings and daily cost reports and well cost reports. Um, if you set this up at the start before the job, then you can keep track of your costs in the daily reports very easily. And phase codes. So in this case, I don't have any codes, but I would potentially have a code A for um, rig up B for top hole let C for build section let's D for lateral and phase E for rig down just to simplify things okay so that's couple of the items that we can do pre-job startup. The next thing I would tackle is go tools and tool inventory. So this is something that can be set up pre-job also. The tools that you're getting to the rig, you can input these in advance. So in this case, um, just for purposes of exercise, I'll show you that we can input a serial number, a description, we'll make it a nine and a half inch motor, we select from the pre-existing types, it's a motor, 9.5 inch, 4 inch ID, 30 foot distance, 758 reg, copy and paste, it's in basket number one, it's at the rig, 44,000 pounds, and it automatically populates the date on location as our current date today, but this can be user edited. Date off location um, will be filled out when it leaves location, that's not now. It's currently highlighted in orange. If we tick on location, it becomes white. If we check failed, it becomes red. If we check ready for backload, it becomes blue. If it's in hole, it's green. And we can input any comments, uh, the make and the model in here. We've also got a checkbox for dirty. So in the case that it's been run in hole, but it's currently sat on deck um, and it's dirty, then we can check box to differentiate. You save that in there. And what entering items into the inventory does is it makes it easy when you come to build your BHA because you can select items pre-input within your inventory at the BHA level. So next we need to, we've done the activity codes, cost codes, face codes, we've dealt with our inventory. Next we'd need to set up our, initially you can't enter anything, it's all grayed out. In order to activate that, we need to create a new BHA. Now we've got new BHA one. But first of all, we'd select a component we put in a length, a description, 
and then we build up our BHA based on this methodology. We can also insert items from the inventory, which makes it very easy to build up your BHAs from items you've pre-existingly put in. Just to save time, I am going to delete these items and pull in the BHA from a pre-existing export file. So that's created a new BHA for me and pulled it in. Okay, so we've input our activity codes, cost codes, phase codes, we've updated our inventory, we've created a BHA to associate our daily report with. Other things we could look at is inputting uh, shipping addresses and getting shipping tickets ready. Um, so we've started our job we're ready to start inputting actual timeline and daily report data. So in this case, currently we don't have a report created. Again, we need to add daily report. And daily report on today's date. So we're now ready to input data within the daily report. So in this case, our 24 hour summary would be pick up BHA, Drill ahead. And 24 hour look ahead would be drill 17 and a half inch hole. Okay, we can input the fluids data as required. We can also input the um, drilling parameters data for the run and over the course of the last 24 hours. We can also input um, our information here regarding start time and end time. So we start at midnight for the report, we'll end it at 12 o'clock. Uh, start depth of zero, closure length of zero, and we'll select no BHA at this stage because we won't have picked up. We select our phase as rig up and the activity as rig up. Okay, and now we can see that we've pulled in um, a new line automatically with the start time as the last row's end time. Uh, in this case, we will pick up the BHA and now we can select our surface BHA. We find our relevant activity code. And input our comments. OK, and now we can input the drilling timeline of some description. So BHA phase top hole. In fact, I'll change the previous one to top hole. And drill a head. Vertical hole. We can put our depth. Okay, so that is how you can build up your um, activity section of the software. You'll also see that once we've selected a BHA, the drill string um, data is imported directly into the software. If you already have data input from your slide sheet, you can then also click the Get DDR from Run Sheet button, and this will auto populate any pre existing data that you have from your slide sheet the relevant timings, depths, and drilling parameters, along with the associated activity codes automatically. Once you're happy with your uh, report for the day and you've input all your data, you can then go file and print your various different reports to Excel. 
So that is a very quick overview of the daily reporting uh, inputs required and the process of inputting data and creating reports.